we play through the render now, we can see that by adjusting the actual frame range and the frames used in the analysis to all frames, we can see that the algorithm has performed a much better cleanup than before. As you can see, the pigeon has been removed throughout the entire sequence as we have mastered out with the mat throughout the entire sequence as well. Now, you might see a small blip on frame 8. Now, this is just a small paint fix that would complete the actual render and remove the bird fully. Now, this is just because the algorithm has had a little bit of hard time completing the fix around that frame. This is due to the fact that there may be some obscurity between the pigeon flapping over its wings throughout the trees or just that there's not enough information to perform the cleanup. So just a simple paint fix there would just preserve it and the pigeon would be removed from the entire sequence. So now we've seen how to actually remove it using the rig mask alpha method. Let's go back into Nuke and use the actual box region to repair the sequence. So let's go back to Nuke now. So now we're back in Nuke we can take away the actual input for this and delete the old rig removal node and we can just move the alpha mat to one side. So we'll just bring ourselves a fresh rig removal node by clicking on the sequence and I'm going to use the shortcut again. You bring it over whichever way you feel comfortable. So as the node comes up by default we have the rig region set to box method which gives us this widget on screen. Now, the actual box method is quite easy for repairing such like rigid shapes, such as square shapes or rectangular objects, and some occasions where you don't need to rotor the shape out, you can just use the box method to do this. Now, if you move the sequence to frame 110, you can actually see that's where the pigeon is. So all we have to do is move the actual rig box to surround the pigeon, just give it a chance to update, and move this in, just to encompass the pigeon, same as the roto shape, just need a different tool to do it. Now you can see we still have the repair fail marker alpha appearing on screen. Now to change the opacity of this, to make it just a little bit easier to actually see where the bird is, we go into the advanced tab and we can reduce the opacity of the repair fail alpha. So we just get a better idea of where the pigeon is and exactly where the wings are rather than having such a bright colour pointing out at us. So now we've got the set. We just need to close the advanced settings on again. And we know now that we need to increase the frame range to 16. And we change this to all frames. Now that's calculated, we can still see we have the red region upon us. Now this is because we haven't animated the box to follow the actual flight pattern of the bird. And we can't actually determine where the foreground is and where the background is. Now it's very important to show the algorithm which is the foreground throughout the entire sequence so it can actually gather clean pixels from different areas that exist from outside of the rig box itself to perform the cleanup. So what we have to do now is actually animate the box. Now we do this by going into rig region box and clicking on the sign and set a key and do the same for the other parameter. So we are assigning keys to bottom left which is signified by BL and top right, which signified by TR. So if they go through the sequence, just give the algorithm a second to catch up. And we have to move the actual rig region box to encompass the bird throughout the entire timeline while constantly adjusting it so we have just the bird in there and nothing else. So you have to animate this through the entire sequence exactly the same as the Bezier shape. So instead of doing this now, here's one I prepared earlier. Now this is my rig removal one box two node. So we'll just delete the rig removal node there and we'll attach the sequence input to our sequence and we'll just view through the results of this node. Let's give the algorithm a second to catch up and calculate. Now if you play through the sequence here, you can see that I have animated the box to follow the flight path of the pigeon completely throughout the entire sequence. And the box adjusts its size in order to encompass the wings and the blurred edges that occur around it. You also notice that there is a perforated box around the actual rig removal region. Now this is the max rig movement. 
which is signified by this parameter over here. Now we use this to avoid perspective changes. The rig removal searches for the missing data inside the area immediately around the rig box. Now the max rig movement defines the width of this in pixels. Now we use this for fast moving footage which requires a higher value than slow moving ones. Now because the area around the repair may be from a different part of the image, higher values can introduce perspective problems. Now, if we see that the render has some odd blurring effects, or the repair doesn't quite sit properly within the composite itself, you may need to adjust this to complete an adequate render. So now we've animated this, we should produce a render of the current parameters and the actual animation of the rig region box and see the results that we get. So go ahead and produce a render of this. So if we look at the render now, we can see that because we have learnt that we need to adjust the frame range and the frames used in the analysis of the actual cleanup itself, we have produced ourselves an adequate render. Now if we compare the two, we have the box method on the left and the actual alpha map method on the right. We can see that using both techniques produce good results and for your sequence you have to choose which one of these you'd actually like to use. So there we have it, rig removal using two methods to perform an adequate cleanup. For more information on the advanced parameters and other parameters not listed in this actual tutorial, please refer back to the Furnace Core Manual.